what in my eschatology, my eschatological analysis, is the role of China in the coming Great War? And is there any reference in the Quran to support a role for China in the coming Great War? I do not find in the Quran any evidence pertaining to China directly. But the important thing for us to recognize is that in the Quran we have Karnain. Karnain. Karnain in Surah Al Kaf can mean two horns. And you don't have to send me any email to convince me it's two horns. If that's your choice, that's your choice. When I look at the word current in the Quran, I find that Allah always uses the word current to mean an age or an epoch. A generation. And so Karnain will be two ages or two epochs or two times. One in the past when Gog and Magog were confined behind the barrier and the other in the future when of course Gog and Magog will be released. Zulkarnain used power to punish the oppressor, to confine him, to check, to use the language of chess, to checkmate the oppressor. Cannot be destroyed, but can be checkmated. And in the second age, in the Karnain, which is to come, Karnain, the second age, will witness the same thing again. That a people in the region of the Black Sea, is the Black Sea in the Quran? Is the Black Sea in the Quran? Is the Black Sea in the Quran? Come on, somebody. Yes, it is. The Black Sea is in the Quran. In which surah? In Surah Al Kaf. Ainun Hamia. Zulkarnain reached to one end of the land, Ainun Hamia, meaning a body of water which is dark and murky, and it's the Black Sea. And in that region of the world in which the Black Sea is located, the second age will emerge of Karnain. It's two currents. The power will emerge in that region of the world. And that power will be built by Allah. Allah will make it powerful. And that power will rest on foundations of faith, not godlessness. And that power will be used in the second current as it was used in the first current. To stand up and resist the oppressor and to support the oppressed and those who have faith and are righteous in conduct. Hmm? This is Russia. This is Russia's role today. Russia is turning away from communism, away from Marxism, but there are those who are still sleeping, so let them sleep. <laughs> and Russia is returning to Orthodox Christianity. Russia is recovering her spiritual soul while the United States and Canada and Britain and France and Germany have barbarian souls. A man can marry another man and get a marriage certificate and you call that? You call that something progressive? Something worthy of commendation? That's progress? You must be sleepy. If Russia is standing up against the oppressor in the second current, then whoever stands with Russia is on the right side. And China is a proud civilization, not the Chinese in Singapore I'm talking about. I'm talking about China. China will not bend her knee to the oppressor who wants to rule the world. So they're now preparing to wage war not only on Russia but on China as well. They are really stupid people. They are really stupid people. They're preparing to wage war on both Russia and China. 
Is China afraid? No. Russia says we are not afraid of you. We are a nuclear power. Don't mess with nuclear Russia, said Putin. Don't mess with nuclear Russia. That's what Putin said. And Russia is not afraid of them. So they're preparing for nuclear war with Russia. And Russia said, we're not afraid of you. And they're preparing for nuclear war with China as well. And China says, we're not afraid of you. Now then, this is a war between the world's greatest oppressor that history has ever known. And those who are standing and resisting his oppression. On which side should you be? If you have a telephone to your government, then call them and tell them. Whichever government you have in the world, of call them and ask them. If this is a war between the greatest oppressor that the world has ever known and those who are standing up courageously to resist his oppression, whose side should you be on? Should you be sitting on a fence? Not Imran Hussein. No, and not my students. We are on the side of the second current in Karnaim.